Hey guys, Key Creations here. I'm here to show you something big that I built. Um, so, yeah, here it is. Um, yeah, so I don't really have a name for it yet. I'm not sure what it's going to be called, but, yeah, it's, so it's huge. Here's a minifigure. Um, let's just lower this down. Yeah, so he's not quite as big as, um... My tree beard was, um, that video's on YouTube if you want to see my custom built tree beard. But, uh, this guy is still pretty big. If you can see, like, right there and right there, I had to use some stuff to prop my background up so, um, you, you wouldn't see, like, tons of stuff. <laughs> so, uh, s whoops. Standing. Whoops. Uh, give me a second. Sorry about that, guys. Um, with this thing standing straight, it is really tall. Um, it's over, it's, uh, over a foot tall. I don't know how, quite how tall it is. It's not two feet, but it's like a foot tall. Um, and for a comparison, here he is next to the, uh, robot that I built recently. Um, side by side comparison. This guy is miniature compared to this thing. So, uh, yeah, although this thing has way more details. But I kind of like this guy not having a ton of details. So, um, yeah, so, uh, let's take a look at the feet first, I guess. So, um,. Most of his joints are, uh, ratchets, so he can stand and stuff, so, uh, here are his feet. They're, uh, pretty big. They're the same exact thing on both sides. Um, they have a ratchet going that way, so I can get an ankle tiltage and stuff, and, um, like, rotation. And, uh, they got a little bit of blue there. This thing's mainly white with some blue on it. Um, and then up to like this section um I kinda like this this angled piece kinda gives him like knee pads but not really um and then if we go up a little higher we get his legs which actually originally were two um two studs longer but I shortened them because he looked kinda weird so, uh, I changed my camera a little bit so that I could get a better view and stuff. Um, so, this part here does fall apart a little bit, but that's mostly just because of the pieces I have for it. And then the, uh, the chest is actually pretty interesting. It's literally just, like, three of those huge plates. It's, like, the exact same thing on the back. Just big plates. Um, so yeah, so, uh, on this arm here, we have, um, this giant gun, pretty much, so we can pew pew, uh, with some, like, angled pieces to kind of make it look cooler. And on this arm, um, he's got these kind of creepy, well, he's got these fingers, um, that are showing studs and stuff. So yeah, I'll see here. So I just wanted to show you first, uh, these shoulders here are, um, kind of in this weird position, but it works a lot better, um, yeah, so I just want to show that quickly. So here's the guy's face, um, it's pretty cool, it's, um, pretty basic, nothing too much, um, there's the back of it, it's kind of gappy, uh, but yeah, so, uh, for articulation, I guess I'll just start up here. The head can rotate 360. Um, it can't really look down, but it can totally look up <laughs> in this really weird way. Um, it's mostly just for like small angles. Um, the arms are on ratchets, so they can rotate a full 360. They can go in and out about that much. And then down here, these are just on ball joints. So, yeah, there's no other articulation on the cannon arm, but there is on this 
arm. So there's all these fingers, which are all just ball joints, so you can get him doing pretty cool poses and stuff with the fingers, fist, and stuff like that. Um, his feet are on ratchets, like all the stuff down here is all ratchet joints. Um, surprisingly though, uh, for this guy not being super heavy, these ratchets do kind of give out. Like it's kind of hard to see, but they aren't the best, but um, they can like kick forward that far, back that far, out, like pretty much full splits. Um, they have rotation like right above the knee and 90 degrees of bend and then the ankles I already told you what the articulation for the ankles is so I'm not gonna go over that again so um yeah so that's pretty much it for this guy I haven't really decided it for a name yet um I'm not sure what his name will be uh he's wasn't really inspired by anything I just wanted to build another big robot so I did um or another big thing, because I guess Treebeard isn't really a robot, so I just wanted to build another big um, thing out of Legos, so I did, and I like how it came out, so uh, um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye!